At this point, we're very comfortable with multiplying a variety of large numbers. The most common method for multiplying them looks like this. We line them up and it's quick and efficient. Given that, I want to show you another method for multiplying these multi-digit numbers. It's not as common, but it really helps you prepare for the multiplication in algebra. If you do a number of these questions and get to understand this process, understanding the algebraic equivalent will be much easier. Example 1. 2 times 234. Let's do it the distribution way and see if it matches our answer. For the distribution method, we'll break up the 234 like this. 200 plus 30 plus 4. The 2 was in the 100 spot, so it represents a 200. The 3 was in the 10 spot, so it represents a 30. And the 4 was in the 1 spot, so it's just a 4. So, this is 234 broken down into its parts. Now, here's the distribution part. We multiply the 2 by every item in the brackets. So, 2 times 200 is 400, 2 times 30 is 60, and 2 times 4 is 8. And so adding them up, 0 plus 0 plus 8 equals 8, 0 plus 6 equals 6, and then we have the 4 out front. So our answer is 468. And indeed, our answers match. Example 2, 34 times 25. This is the way we've done it in the past, and this is our distribution method. In this case, we have two multi-digit numbers, so we'll break them both down into their parts. 34 becomes 30 plus 4. 25 becomes 20 plus 5. And again, we go to the distribution law. In this case, the distribution law tells us that we need to multiply each item in the first set of brackets with each item in the second set. So really, the main challenge here is ensuring that we stay organized enough to catch them all. I suggest avoiding mnemonics like FOIL as they're limited to very specific situations. It's more useful just to draw lines between each pair, using the lines to ensure that we catch each multiplication. Let's start with a 30. We need to multiply it by each item in the second set of brackets. So, 30 times 20 equals 600. 30 times 5 equals 150. 4 times 20 equals 80. And 4 times 5 equals 20. So these are all the parts, so we just need to add them up. 4 zeros here equals 0. And then 0 plus 5 plus 8 plus 2 equals 15. So we'll note the 5 and carry the 1. And 6 plus 1 plus our carried 1 equals 8. So sure enough, our answers match. Note that this method will work for any of our multiplications, but we commonly use the more efficient method we've used in the past. The main value of trying this method is to get comfortable with a distribution idea, leading into your algebraic math.